So the self-supported concentric hang is a regression from the concentric hang. So if you can't yet support your body weight, do this one instead. Okay, so we're going to set the barbell up so it is chest height. And then that means that when we lower ourselves down, we can get into a full hang position. Okay, we're going to pull ourselves up to the bar, keeping the chest and chin above the bar, squeezing our shoulders back and down and hold and that is simply it. You're going to hold for as long as you can or for however many seconds I have programmed. Now, I just want to show you where this goes wrong. People see this as an inverted row where their feet are too far forward, and this means their shoulders round forward. We're staying underneath the bar, i.e. you're staying vertically. So make sure your toes are underneath you. We don't want to round the shoulders forward too much. We want to keep that chest nice and open and the shoulders back and down away from our ears. We want that top position to be really strong. We should feel our upper back working, our mid back working, our biceps working hard. And also because you are self-supporting, so you've got your legs involved, you are also going to feel your quads as well, a little bit um, in your legs. But we want to refrain from just using our legs to support us. So try and take more weight into your upper body. This exercise is going to particularly help you with the top portion of a chin-up or pull-up, really strengthening those muscles in the shortened contraction.